And a jolly good morning from the Bedfordshire village of Pegston, just uh, close to the Chiltern Hills in Midbeds. And today I'm just going to go on a fairly quick circular walk from outside this pub here called The View. That's the only real business in this small village. But it's quite easy to park here. And of course, as with all pubs, it's quite a useful place to um, start or finish a walk as uh, you can avail yourself of the facilities uh, before and or after. So uh, it's uh, quite early on a Saturday morning at the moment, so um, it's not, the pub isn't even open yet, but it probably will be by the time we come back. And uh, it is quite a pleasant place on a nice day to sit outside looking over the view. That before us is Pegston Hills and that's where we're going to be taking a walk this morning. It's, um, I'll hazard a guess, at about three miles, five kilometres, should take around about an hour or so. It's quite steep and hilly, not ideal for those with mobility issues uh, and so bear that one in mind. But there is a fabulous little circular walk you can do from here with the added bonus the car park and the pub and if you're really tired uh, some accommodation that you can rent only joking the pub incident is called the view uh, which you can see on the screen there the sign and its website if you want to look it up as a, uh, a place on google maps First thing, of course, is uh, once you get out of the pub car park, you're onto the busy hitch into Barton the Clay Road, and uh, you will have to take care crossing this road. But once you've crossed this road and you're into the pastures over there, then there's absolutely nothing, no traffic or anything, until you come back round from the circular, cross over, back over this road, back into the pub, and uh, then ultimately back into your car and go home. It is quite a busy road here, and although the, the speed limit clearly states 40 miles an hour, you probably won't see anybody actually doing 40 miles an hour. So do take care. What else can I tell you about this walk? Um, it's through the Chalk Hills, uh, part of the Chiltern Hills. Uh, you'll see some interesting flora and fauna on your way. Uh, and uh, let's go, let's go and enjoy it once we've got across this uh, busy road. So you start off by just walking parallel to the road, back in the direction of Hitchin. You might hear and see a uh, small person. That's my grandson who's uh, with me this morning. Uh, so if you're wondering what all the shouting is, or a little head popping up every now and then, that's who that is. Uh, we'll just uh, double back slightly, going past the pub now. And uh, gonna head up up that path just in the corner there and make our way uh, the initial walk up to the top of Deacon Hill which is the hill you can see in the middle of the screen there I feel thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me so much deeper. I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough. Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough. I just need to feel like the answer's up for me. Still running uh, parallel to the road, which is why I can hear the vehicle traffic. Well, this is uh, thankfully where we once through this gate we turn away 
from the road, which, as I keep saying, is very, very busy. By the way, don't forget, if you do come up here, bring a container with you at the right time of year. There's a lot of opportunities for blackberrying, which is always great to add to a pie. Plenty of uh, blackberry bushes along here. So now, finally, we turn away from the road. And the best way, really, is, although we're going to the top of the hill over there, is to just walk up parallel to the fence here, up the hill, as there's a gate that gets you through. If you, if you go across that way in a direct line towards the hill, you will come to some barbed wire fences uh, that you might have trouble getting over. So just uh, come up this way and there is actually a gate to go through. And then you're in the Deacon Hill part of this. Already it's quieter, we've only come 50 yards from the roadside. Well, this is a mid-April morning. It was very grey and rather cool earlier on. Uh, but the sun's poked through now, a little bit rather hazily. And I can just feel a bit of warmth from that sunshine, so... Really quite pleasant. And uh, once you get to this gate, you take a sharp left and then just head straight up to the hill with a uh, footpath that's uh, been created by many feet. You'll soon see which way to go. Beautiful morning, truly is now. It was, it was uh, very overcast, drizzling slightly and a bit chilly earlier on, but it's absolutely perfect weather for going for a walk now. As it's uh, well into springtime, you can start to feel the warmth of that sunshine. It's quite a climb up to the top of this. It doesn't particularly look at it on the on the screen, but um, but uh, believe me, you know you've walked up it once you get to the top. very last part up to the top is quite uneven lots of rabbit holes and uh, old workings where they used to dig out the chalk on a commercial basis so just be a bit careful underfoot and uh, needless to say in winter when it's uh, been raining a lot it's very slippy nearly at the top of Deacon Hill now and you'll know you're there because you'll come to a trig pillar a photograph of which I shall place on there in a moment with its number on so you can identify it on the ordnance survey map and if you can uh, get your mountain bike up here. This is a great little area for whizzing up and down the little hills. Oh, 
oh, I managed to get my breath back now. Um, I'm not an inherently unhealthy person, but I have got a bit of a, a chesty cough at the moment, so a um, bit, uh, bit chesty, so uh, that's, that's why I was losing my breath a little bit there. But uh, I think you'll probably find most people will lose their breath just coming up that last little bit over there. And that's the village of Pegston down at the bottom there, and the pub where we started the walk. So I'm getting on to being about halfway now. Not quite, as uh, we're gonna go, carry on over this way, go right the way around the ridge uh, to almost the uh, Icknield Way, and, uh, and then take a right turn back down the hill from the other side of this nearby hill, all the way across the, the uh, downs there, back down into the village. Incidentally, those uh, workings there, uh, when I first when I first saw those, I thought that was the beginnings of some earthworks for some something to be built. Uh, turns out it's for butterflies, so it's an environment being put there for butterflies by the University of Cambridge. Uh, so that's got to be applauded. That's good news that there won't be a uh, uh, supermarket built there anytime soon. Uh, because this is really a very picturesque part of Bedfordshire and also Hertfordshire if you walk in the wrong direction slightly. We're right on the border of North Hearts and Mid Beds. Right, let's carry on over the hill, see what we see. turned into a beautiful beautiful spring morning. I have very low hopes for today when I looked out the curtains this morning. So as you continue along the ridge and you get to these trees here generally speaking there's a rope swing uh, that's been put there by various people over the years. Some looking more um, sturdy than others. More So if you're brave and you don't mind falling off and rolling down a hill, if you do, then uh, you can have a bit of fun here on the rope swing. In fact, there is one there. knees suitably grazed, elbows and arms aching. Let's carry on over the ridge. <laughs> Great place just here actually where the rope swing is uh, if, if you bring a picnic or whatever just to sit and look over the, the hills there. Great place just to sit and watch, uh, watch the views. At this point, you can continue straight ahead here where those uh, sheep are. Go to the left, towards where those people are over there, and just go around the cutting, taking a right over that way and down. But I've been instructed this morning that uh, we're going down the other way. So I'm going to head down back towards Pegston on this side of the cutting rather than the other. Change of plan, we're following the sheep. <laughs> okay, so now, change of plan completely. We are gonna walk around the, the ridge there and uh, around to the other side of the cutting and back down that way, which is uh, my preferred route in any case, so that's all good. 
few people out and about now. It's got a little bit later and a little bit warmer. And if anyone's seen the forecast for today, they'll have probably seen that it's most likely going to rain later on. So uh, now is the time to get out in these places. Fairly close to Luton Airport here, so that'll be an example of it. You can probably hear in the background there. You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head I like you in my bed but you keep me on red Oh, oh, oh. We've just come down from the uh, top there That's uh, Deacon Hill over there Across that ridge, across the top Around the, the uh, cutting And walked our way down there uh, Just on the last leg now Back down towards Pegston Just over this hill And a beautiful walk this morning The weather certainly has um, Improved from what it was like About two to three hours ago And made for a very very pleasant walk indeed There we go, and that brings this walk to a nice conclusion. All that's left to do now is just walk to the bottom where the road is and back along there along the pavement towards the pub and uh, avail yourself of the facilities should you wish. Certainly should be open by now. And uh, yeah, so that was uh, around about three miles up some uh, reasonably a combination of flat and quite hilly sections. And, um, uh, yeah, that was it. About three miles, five kilometres, and about uh, just about an hour and a half in total with stopping up the top for um, a play on the rope swing. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click all the buttons, you know the score. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for now. Bye.